Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides opening up this weekend. Sean O'Connell from the Washington Post and FilmCritic.com. Now, the last Pirates movie was almost three hours long. I was sitting there in my seat. I think blood clots were forming in my legs. Is this one at least shorter? Uh, it's a little shorter, though not much. But what I'll say about it, if you're going to compare it to the third one, the third one was just a hot mess. I mean, no one even knows what was happening in that film. This one's more streamlined. The story makes a little bit more sense. It's about a quest for the Fountain of Youth, and there are four different parties going after it. The story's now folks focusing solely on Johnny Depp's character, Captain Jack Sparrow, which to some people who, who love that character, that's great. They want more of him. Um, I kind of preferred when he was in the background and can pick and choose his spots. You know, as the main hero, I don't think he's ready to really carry the film. And I don't know if Depp really wants to carry the film. Depp's not a leading man that way, even when he does a Tim Burton film. So it might be almost too much of a good thing, because this does not have Kira Knightley or Orlando Bloom in it, does it? Correct. And they switch directors also, um, although I'm not quite sure that you'll notice. When you left all three of the first Pirates movies, there was at least one or two scenes that you could point to and say, that was the reason that I saw that on the big screen. And there's no... Like signature, and, and really every summer movie needs this. There's no signature scene in this one where I was like, okay, I'm really glad I caught that. Now, will I enjoy it more if I'm hammered on Captain Morgan's? <laughs> yes. But that's a yes for everything. I mean, honestly, Captain Morgan's just makes everything in life better. All right, are you giving us a thumbs up on this one? I would give it like a thumbs middle. I hate that. That's such a cop out. I didn't hate it, <laughs> um, and, and I didn't love it. I'm not, I'm not a, a, as big a fan of this franchise. I didn't need to see any more Pirates movies, but I'm not going to fault it because the third one made so much money, so the producers clearly know there's an audience out there. It is a cult-like following, and some will show up in costume. Sean O'Connell, critic for The Washington Post and FilmCritic.com.